Isaiah 44 is a chapter that brings us right into the heart of God's unchanging promises, reminding us of who God is and his unwavering commitment to us. The chapter begins with a beautiful assurance from God. It says in verses one and two, but now listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one, the Lord who made you and helps you says, do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, who I have chosen. It's as if God is saying, hey, I've got you. I chose you, don't worry. It's a personal reminder that we're not just random faces in the crowd to God. He knows us and he has chosen us. And then in verse three, God talks about pouring out his blessings like rain on a parched land. For I will pour out my waters to quench your thirst and to irrigate your parched fields. And I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your children. This isn't just talking about physical needs. It's about God refreshing our lives, our spirits and our futures. The chapter also reminds us really of the stupidity of trusting in anything other than God. It talks about how people make idols and then pray to them, even though they're just made of wood and metal. I love how the New Living translates this in verse 18, where it says that those who do this are stupid and ignorant. That's pretty straightforward, but yet it's a powerful way of saying that only God who has always been there and will always be there is worthy of our trust. Towards the end in verse 22, God tells us he's wiped away our mistakes like a cloud disappearing in the sky. This is the ultimate promise of a fresh start, no matter what has happened before. Isaiah chapter 44 reminds us of God's constant care, his might and his readiness to forgive and refresh us. In our everyday craziness of life, this chapter is like a pause button, helping us to stop and remember the incredible God that we have by our side.